All right. What's happening, you guys? Welcome back to This Is Living. I hope you enjoy the videos. If you guys could subscribe to my channel and like this video, that would be amazing. I also have some news. I'm about to take a little trip to California for some business, and it just so happens that there is going to be pretty insane waves in Southern California while I'm there. So I'm taking my surfboard. Oh, actually, I have a surfboard there, so I don't need to take it, which is really nice. But um, I'm bringing Jack along so we can make some surf videos, and. We're going on like a little mini surf trip to California, which I never really do unless we go up to like Mavericks or something like that. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the airports look like right now. I heard it's pretty crazy. Like y'all wear masks, there's no middle seats available. Even though I don't even like middle seats, but they're separating people on the planes. And I guess they're taking your temperature as well. So this should all be over real soon because we're coming to the end of quarantine here in Hawaii. And um, yeah, stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. Do we have to wear this the entire flight, you think? I refuse. All right, well, let's go see what's different in the airports nowadays. It's pretty exciting. We're getting on a plane. We're actually going to Fiji for a sick swell right now. No, I'm kidding. We're going to Southern California for a, a sick swell. I'll tell you what I didn't miss in airports getting charged for bags. I forgot about this. But I love it. <laughs> I'm back in an airport. People seem a little more upset. How's the vibe? It's awkward. It's weird. It's like eerie. No one's talking. It's very quiet. And airports are usually just like chaos. And it's like not like that. Workers seem angry as well. The straight ghost town. Yeah. Weird, 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 weird. Oh, oh, Jack, Jack. Alright, where are you guys headed to? Uh, California. Get straight to TSA, just sign in online there. Okay. Here's the game plan. Get to California tonight. Tomorrow, the waves are going to be pumping, the next day is going to be pumping, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day. So it's going to turn into basically a full, complete surf trip. I'm pretty excited, to be honest. This is my first time back in the airport in months. And it feels really good to kind of be going somewhere else, traveling. I'm so used to it, because usually, especially around this time of year, I travel so, so, so much. And this year, I haven't taken one trip anywhere. And even if it's to California, it's like still a pretty epic surf trip. Like, the, the only tough part is, is seeing everywhere like Tahiti and Fiji and Indo and Australia just lighting up with like some of the best swells I've seen in years. And we're kind of just stuck at home. So this is like, Kind of makes me feel like we're doing something productive and like going to serve some fun waves that isn't at home, so I'm pretty excited. These masks are like so uncomfortable. The little hairs on my face are just getting caught like to this fabric. I don't know how doctors do it. They wear these every day and doing like doctor stuff. <laughs> All interactions with guests and we ask that you do the same. You may also notice changes to our normal in-flight services which have been temporarily modified to reduce interaction time and promote less handling of service items. As an example, beverages will be served in their containers and we have suspended the practice of refilling cups and personal water bottles. Mahalo for joining us today in our efforts that to is ensure safe travel. That is a plastic issue. They're not going to refill your cup and not fill your water bottle. Nice. There's way more people traveling than I was expecting and from what I've been hearing. I think now that everyone's now that all the states are slowly opening up, I think it's gonna get back to normal and really crowded and difficult. <laughs> Our good friend Mason, who lives down the road in Venice, is gonna pick us up right now. 
and it's 10:20, so everywhere's kind of closed, and except in and out. So we're gonna go hit in and out, and then yeah, surf tomorrow. I'm sorry if you guys can't really hear me with this thing on, but hopefully you understood that. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. Long time no see. How's it? Well, I left a couple surfboards at Mason's house and I don't remember why I left here and I honestly don't remember leaving surfboards here but I didn't bring any with me but Mason was for sure that I had them. Oh! That board feels really good suits. too. Which one? This one? Yeah. Oh this is an old one. But look it's how good that feels. Yeah. My wetsuit? Covered in spiders. Oh, that's true. Whoa, fins? I came with nothing. I didn't bring fins, surfboards, leashes, wax. I don't even have sunscreen. So I'm relying on Mason for absolutely everything. For you, for wax. Yeah. I actually don't have wax. Huh? I actually don't have wax. Uh, we could stop and get some, huh? Dude, Lowers is going off right now. And we're gonna miss the morning crowd. It's gotta be a hundred degrees right now. We're about to get on the road and we actually don't know where we're going yet. We said lowers at first, and now we heard 56 is better in Newport Beach. And I think we're just gonna head south because we're in Venice. See where the best spot is. Maybe, Mason, do you know where we're going? I have no idea. Okay. Maybe lowers. We'll figure it out. Maybe Newport. Maybe Mexico. <laughs> it's an adventure. Let's see where the wind blows. Let's go. I gotta stay. What is that that you say? Is that the bread truck? Follow it. The bread. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to the bread. <laughs> they're like they're, there's rattlesnakes. Yeah. But they hide when it's this hot, right? No, when it's this hot, they come out. No, no, no. Do rattlesnakes hide in super hot weather? Or do they hide in the shade till it becomes nighttime? I feel like they would melt. It'd be way too hot for them. Mason made me put my surfboard in a board sock before we put it in his car. Ooh. <laughs> Informative rattlesnake thing. Rattlesnakes may be found in this area. They are important members of the natural community. They will not attack, but if disturbed or cornered, they will defend themselves. Give them some distance and respect. They won't attack. I thought they love attacking people. Oh my God, it's pumping. Look at that wave. Look at it. You see that? Wow. See it down there? Cool. That, that oh my really God. Good. I guess we took the goat trail. Easier way to get down, but we took the hard way. Nice little warm up before surfing. <laughs> Look at that. That thing is going way faster. And it's silent. Listen, you can't already you can hear it. Then it looked like it was going. 100? 80, 100 miles an hour? <laughs> I'm stronger than a train. <laughs> you guys like my blender sticker? I actually forgot to bring stickers to California. And this was a board I had here that wasn't stickered, so I drew it on. Sorry, blenders. If you guys want some sick sunglasses, check them out. Their link is in our bio. Blender sunglasses. Best sunglasses ever. Sit in 100 degree weather. I'm trying to get my Kella said you'll be fine. <laughs> I just got two. California like, sun. Two drivers. Because I already have a couple. Can't remember the last time I put on a full suit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll see you guys in the lineup.
absolutely pumping right now. And it's midday, not on shore, which is crazy for over here. I had to come in to do this interview real quick and then the tide just peaked and it's gonna be dropping like right now. And supposedly it's gonna get even better. Everyone was telling me out there. And the crowd thinned out a ton. It's like pretty much empty trestles, lower trestles. It's crazy. Also, there's a big dolphin out there, a huge one, that someone thought was a shark for a second. So we got kind of freaked out because this place is like notorious for having huge great whites hang around. I guess they love that like nuclear power plant down there. Can you see it? See it over there? Oh well. Anyway, came in, get some water, do the interview, and then probably surf till evening. These wetsuits are so insane. This is a 3-2 and it feels like I'm wearing like nothing. It's crazy. I feel like that interview went extremely well. Oh, I don't know about this. But I'm going back out and I feel like I have to reapply some sunscreen because it was so bright and hot out. Oh my goodness. What is this? Hey, that stuff's gonna stay on till like Friday. <laughs> what is this? Does it rub in or does it just stay like this? <laughs> the sun's worst nightmare. I am the sun's worst nightmare. Has it rubbed in at all? <laughs> no. Man. Oh my gosh. I can see in the reflection of the lens. <laughs> Okay, let's get back out there. Seems like the onshores are starting, which luckily it took them this long, like five o'clock. So I think we've made the decision to head back to Mason's house. Somehow there's no traffic. We just looked at the maps and we're gonna take advantage of that, go grab some food and then tomorrow should be on as well. I don't know if we're gonna surf here or Newport or Malibu or even our own secret wave up above Malibu zeros. Ooh, the sound. That's the spot. We might have to go there. Chime in. Just saying the best wave there is like the worst wave here. Yes. This is the best wave in California. But it's still cool. So that's the game plan. We need food now and more water. We almost ran out of water, but Oliver and Troy, Kurt, were kind enough to bring us down a few bottles of water after they trek down this giant hike, giant mountain covered in rattlesnakes. So I gotta walk through possibly some rattlesnakes to go surf some possibly great white infested surf. What are surfers thinking sometimes? I have no idea. I could not tell you. But we'll see you tomorrow. Flip side. Oh, no. What? Your board. What? Oh.